Good morning. It's a good day for some barbecue. Let's go. A little early and we're meeting at the Gyopa Gongyo area. I haven't been around this area since the first time I was in Korea. I remember hitting up all the palaces in like one day. I like castles, especially haunted ones. These ones are definitely haunted. Gotta have my pre-dinner affogato. Giada would be proud of me. Hmm? Sorry, just dropped the name somewhere. Tony, he's yeah, the yeah. owner of this place. Yeah, yeah, this is this looks this is really awesome. I love it. Thank you. Very nice. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, yeah. I'm with a bunch of guys here. They they're taking me to this place. Uh, you found this, Evan? I did. Yeah. Good job, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> you guys ever had cow feet? Oh, I have pig's feet. Oh, Never oh, had. Oh. Yeah. Chicken feet. Chicken feet. Chicken feet. Oh, pig's pig's feet. feet. Never had cow feet. Look at that. So this is like Sichuan Mala cow feet. This is so interesting. It's very. It looks very gelatinous. That is so good. It's not as gelatinous as I thought. It actually tastes like uh, like beef tendon. It just tastes like beef tendon. It's, it's so good. The texture is amazing. A little sweet, crunchy vegetables. This is fantastic. Oh my gosh. I want to eat like all the cow's feet now. Like I don't, I don't know where to get that, but this is a very undervalued ingredient. I can't believe this is the first time I've ever had cow's feet before. It's so good. So this play has different parts of the cow on there. Wow. One bite, you're gonna fall in love with that. This is so flavorful. The fat in here is just like the most incredible flavor adder. A little bit of salt's all you need. Salt the marbling on this already. This thing has got such a great balance between lean and fat. And Korean beef is typically more beefy. So even though you get that nice melty texture, he still retains that great beef flavor. Oh, it's a cow tongue. Just a splash of lemon juice and a little bit of salt. Wow. I've had kaltong before, but this might be the first time having it in such a big piece of it, like a big chunk of it. It's not sliced up. It's amazing. The texture is a little crunchy, but also, again, great ratio of fat in there that just makes it melt. Egg dipping sauce is brilliant. Mmm, that's so good. Wow, that adds so much more flavor. Tiny bit of heat and just the great creaminess added from the egg yolk. This is great egg dipping sauce. This might be the single best Korean barbecue dipping sauce ever. Oh my god. Oh, that is crazy. Marinated for three days. My flavor. First of all, that's just butter. A little sweet, so smoky, so fatty. This is so good. Oh, this is incredible. This is about the best short rib I think I've had in a long time. Welcome to Korea. They just brought over another helping of uh, galbi for us. This place is amazing. 
believe I got second helping. So good. This is so good. Look at that. Great char. On the bottom, there's stone bowl on this fried rice. Galbi fried rice. Incredible. Incredible. So you take one of these. You're supposed to wrap this with the seaweed. Put the seaweed down. A lot of people just eat plain rice and that for a day. Oh, and just sleeping bag this baby. This place, I love this place. Everything they make is just remarkable. All that great fat from the galbi melted into this rice. Oh, this flavor is so intense. Just like a piece of cow just sweated all over every single grain in a good way. Two Korean barbecue. Take some noodles, wrap it around your beef. Fermented bean soup. Everything has galbi inside. It's so amazing. Mm. I love this soup. I love it. It smells a little funky, but the flavor is just so rich. Oh, this is marvelous. Anytime you see a bone sticking out of a soup, it's always a good day. Oh, this soup is great. I know I say that a lot, but I love bone broth. In this place, it's got such good quality beef. Gnawing on this is the best. I'm, I'm going to give it to one of these guys. I've been... Who wants the bone? No, no, that's okay. I'm going to take the bone. You guys are growing still. I don't want to, I'm, I'm older now, so I, someone can gnaw on the bone. My teeth are not up to it anymore sometimes. Fun hanging out with you guys. See <laughs> <laughs> you guys. No worries, take care. Walking around at night by one of the palaces. It's like an ancient realm, just smack in the middle of a busy city. It just feels almost surreal, plus it's so gorgeous. Walking around so at night, especially around here, must try experience. Just got home from that amazing barbecue and I, I saw this on Facebook a lot. This is the uh, the garlic bread with cream cheese and stuff. This thing is incredible, but it's so bad for you. And yeah, it's probably not good. I'm eating this for a midnight snack, but can't help myself. I already had a piece for breakfast. I'm not going out anymore tonight, so my garlic bread is not going to offend anybody. Anyway, like I mentioned in the beginning, this video is sponsored by Fetch Rewards. So thank you so much, Fetch, for continuing to support this channel. And this is a great app, guys. That is if you like free stuff, which should be everybody. If you guys don't know what Fetch is, the easiest way to explain this is basically in an app that you can get free rewards from just by scanning your everyday receipts. That's all you need to do. I've been using this app for a few months now. It actually does exactly what it says it does, which is basically turning your receipts, which most of us essentially treat as trash, into actual good rewards that, at least for me, I can eat. So basically they have thousands of participating products from cereals to diapers to paper towels, like stuff you would get basically every time you go to the grocery store. And all you gotta do is scan your receipt and the process takes seconds. Then you get points and you can redeem the points for pretty much whatever you want. Like Amazon gift cards or restaurant gift cards like Burger Kings or Applebee's. Like I said, the app is really easy to use. It's simple to sign up. Get your points, then go to your reward section and when you have enough, you can redeem it for all sorts of cool stuff. And for for me, I will usually eat all that cool stuff. And it's not just limited to grocery stores. You can scan your receipts from restaurants, pet stores, been buying a lot of stuff for dumpling. And if you just want to do some online shopping, you can utilize their Yeet Receipt feature and just easily earn rewards while you're shopping online. So if you want to give it a try, go to my link down below, download the app, use my promo code Mikey Chen, and for a limited time, you're gonna get 4,000 points when you scan your first receipt. All right, I gotta go to bed. After I take a couple more bites of this. All right. It's about eight o'clock in the morning. I feel like something's kind of missing since I got to South Korea. And I finally figured out what it was. I haven't had fried chicken yet. Show you a place, 24 hours a day. Amazing fried chicken. Let's go. All 
by itself. There's a guy standing there. I ran into this guy three times in three random places across the city. Today's the third time. If that was a girl, I'd be thinking this is some real life rom-com. But seriously, three random places in Seoul. Like, I, just, I ran into that guy. We're here. So, scooter is my uh, preferred way to get around. I mean, Korea managed the COVID situation pretty well. Usually the daily cases are below 100, hovering around like 70 or so. And in Seoul, it's, it's about maybe like, I think 20? And they're usually clusters. So that's why everyone's still eating out. But if you are outside or any public space, everyone has a mask on. But I still really don't feel comfortable squeezing into a crowded subway. So yeah, scooter, luckily they're everywhere. But we're here. Wait. Here we go. 24 hour fried chicken. I'm willing to bet I'm the only person here this early for fried chicken. Wow, what is this? Pyeongchong egg in hell. Sounds sinister, but I want that. Duck Galbi fried rice, chicken burger is new. Oh, what is this? Fondue cheese balls. Whew. You know you're in Asia when you have easy access to hot water. Surprised I'm the only one that wants to eat fried chicken at like 8 o'clock in the morning. Empty. Am I, am I weird for wanting fried chicken this early in the morning? Am I mad? Am I just mad for chicken? Maybe. Food is here. Got some cheese balls. Kimchi fried rice. I'm really excited about this. This is amazing. It's nothing like you think. First of all, it's sweet mochi. Not overly sweet, but just sweet enough to complement, but not overpower the awesome, awesome flavor of this cheese. Crunchy shell, chewy inside, just gooey, melty cheese in the middle. I mean, I'm just really surprised by this. I thought it was gonna be like a mozzarella stick in the shape of a ball. Nuh uh. Mmm. You gotta get the fried rice if you come here. Must try. This is one of the best things on the menu. It's so delicious. I mean, the spice level, like if you can't handle your spice, if you can't at least do a Taco Bell fire sauce times 10, you'll have trouble with this. Fried chicken for breakfast. Typical Korean fried chicken. Super crunchy on the outside. This is what I've been craving for. So long. I remember getting a, a pseudo fried chicken during quarantine. I was so happy. But of course, that is nothing compared to the real deal. This skin is the most amazing part. It's just that subtle kiss of a crunch. And then pure, juicy, delicious bliss. This is one of my favorite Korean fried chicken places in Seoul. Not only because it's open 24 hours, which I appreciate. This, amazing. And it has this. Gotta get this. This is what I love about Korean fried chicken. Look how thin the skin is. It's not a loud crunch. It's so subtle, but yet so sweet, meaningful, and substantial. I just randomly ran into this place. I saw a line outside. Harry Potter Cafe. Dragon Blood. It's wizard beer. Kind of cool for all you Potterheads. That's what I love about this country. Everywhere you go, every alley you go to. You're gonna find some good food, but I'm actually eating at this place. What's that really good army stew? Told me like, yeah, I have to order two people's portion. Um, that's the minimum one, which is fine. I just want an army stew. I don't even know. I can't read this. So this one, silken tofu, sausages, dumplings, ramen, 
mushrooms, fish cake. This is army stew for two. And this thing is one of my ultimate favorite things to eat in this country because not only is it incredibly tasty, this whole thing, which can easily feed two to three people, about $10. It's about 12 o'clock, but today after the fried chicken, I think this is gonna be my last meal. Just go all out. That's awesome. I think two person portion is just perfect for me. Tofu soft, dumpling is good. Love the crunchy vegetables. You never had army stew. It's probably one of the most satisfying Korean comfort dishes. It's just really like a hot stew jumbled together with all sorts of ingredients that are so common. I spam ramen. Also, there's a kimchi shortage going on right now. Like, no joke. So I am 100% finishing up my kimchi. Another thing I like about this place, not touristy at all. Only locals come here. So if you do come here, make sure you come with two people or more or bring a big appetite. I do appreciate that. At least they let me sit down and try to finish it. Some places like you go to, if you don't, if you don't have two people, they won't even let you go in and eat. I like the fact that he gave my appetite a chance. I'm not gonna let him down. A few minutes later, halfway done. I am going strong. Certain food items, like a New York bagel, or New York pizza, or burgers, or army stew. I feel like I can just keep on eating. I never have to stop. I don't even think I'm like at 30% yet. That's about how she wrote. I ain't pretty much done. I'm gonna have to roll home, but. My stomach is satisfied. You guys gotta come to this place. One of the best armies I've had so far. Definitely took the detour back home. Uh, I'm not gonna go out for dinner. I'm just gonna grab some stuff at the local convenience store. Oh, I know exactly what I want. Spam kimchi fried rice. Some yogurt. A can of double hot pepper tuna. And shaved ice. I gotta eat my dessert first before it melts. I've been eyeing this and this for the last several days, so just a great opportunity to try it out. This red bean ice flake, it might be a, might be a little rough for my tiny plastic spoon. Well, that's just adorable. Leave it in Korea to put like a, like a little heart in the middle of your shaved ice. Okay, so the outside is just pure ice. But that ice cream in the middle is just delightful. All right, I need a better spoon. From what I can actually chip off, that's really good shaved ice. Big red bean flavor. I feel like if I just let this uh, melt a little bit, and that might happen after I just take my time eating the ice cream in the middle, I think the outside will melt enough, and then it might just be perfect. While I wait for that, I'm gonna go heat up my Spam kimchi fried rice. This smells good. I always think like I have a pretty good knack for choosing um, good tasting foods from the frozen aisle. Tuna in South Korea is just beyond great. I mean, Starkist? What is that compared to this? This is delicious kimchi fried rice. Nice chunks of Spam. The rice is so flavorful. Crispy pieces of kimchi. It's spicy. It's got that great pickle flavor. I love this. If I ever do this whole quarantine thing again, I'm just gonna buy a bunch of this and a bunch of canned tuna. I think that'll be good. This is so good. Also, you guys need to try this. There's nothing 
like the boring cans of uh, what they call it like tuna soaked in oil or tuna soaked in spring water chicken of the sea whatever they're calling it nothing compared to this little bits of carrots little bits of potatoes soaked in just spicy chili sauce with giant chunks of tuna that is perfect dinner at home and this really like 253 dollars for this i wish i could buy a case of this if my red bean ice will just melt a little faster mm. get this i am three for three of my food items today this country when it comes to red bean you can't go wrong mm. so if you get a chance i don't know if they sell this in the states but if they do get this definitely get this 100 percent get this and i haven't even done a 7-eleven convenience store video yet what i do definitely getting all these again as always guys thank you all so much for watching see you later